the many common problems that people face in t today's society is distractions. Distractions are literally everywhere. And I know that I'm not the only one that's been dealing with distractions from things that I want to be doing, from these YouTube videos to running my own business. Distractions are things that we find very appealing and we find ourselves diving into rabbit hole after rabbit hole and then eventually we, we end up in these kind of situations where we could have gotten out of these problems if we weren't so distracted by everything else. Since distractions are such a huge problem, I want to take some time to be talking about some strategies that I've developed from my own experiences that I want to be sharing with you guys to help with dealing with these distractions. The first method on managing your distractions is to manage your dopamine levels. Dopamine is a feel-good drug that is highly addictive and that companies have been able to leverage from it extensively. It's the reason why you feel compelled to check your phone almost every 10, 20 seconds or every minute of every day or within a very specific period of time. You find it very difficult to work on something and, and not check your phone or not have your phone by you uh, at all times because companies have trained you to impulsively check your phone all the time for notifications, even if those notifications are never appearing. Social media is another example of exploiting your dopamine levels because of notifications that keep on appearing on your phone that, and is part of the reason why you're compelled to check your phone in the first place. So because dopamine is so readily available to you, it's a lot easier for your mind to to just check your phone compared to doing an actual task or doing something that makes you feel a lot better. So one of the ways that you can work around that is by managing those dopamine levels, by putting in barriers and methods for you to find dopamine in other ways. Some strategies that I found to, to work very well are things like putting your phone away or uh, locking it up or blocking certain sites uh, so you wouldn't be distracted during periods of time. There's all kinds of ways for you to be managing your own dopamine levels and finding joy in doing other things. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I've been able to push out more articles uh, and also even to do these videos because I've been training myself to find dopamine in doing these specific activities compared to just watching a YouTube video or, or playing video games. The second method is to have your own goals and objectives. When you have a goal and you have a deep reason for pursuing this goal, then you're, you're going to find it a lot easier to put distractions aside and focus on these goals that, that you have. When you have desires, it's easier to find to lose yourself in those specific things compared to like finding those other triggers. Uh, again, like it's, it's something that's going to take a really long time uh, and it's not something that can be just done by sheer willpower, but it is still a practical method uh, when you have goals and objectives, when you have other things on your plate to do, uh, because it adds timelines, it adds pressure to you to, to go out and do these sorts of things. Uh, especially if these are things that you care about. And feeding off of this second method to handling your distractions, uh, the third method is to remember why you started in the first place. What I mean by this is reminding yourself why you started doing something better than being distracted. So when I'm writing an article, I remind myself why I started writing this article and why I started writing and I focus on on that sort of reason uh, whenever there's a potential distraction like I just get a random thought of hey do you want to be checking your phone I remind myself no I, I'm focusing on my writing right now the reason why I'm writing is so that I can get some content out there that I can uh, make some money, operate my business, and that, that whole thing. So it's, 
it's more important for me to, to do that and to remind myself of, of those, of the reasons why I write, uh, compared to just getting distracted by checking my phone or playing video games or, or, or watching a YouTube video. And the last tip that I have for avoiding distractions, or at least improving your handling of distractions, is to be boosting your own self-esteem. One thing that I found that was interesting with distractions is that a lot of people can come up with all kinds of excuses from those. People don't really want to admit like, oh, I just spent way too much time watching YouTube videos or playing Angry Birds or Candy Crush or whatever. A lot of people don't really want to admit that. People will come up with any kind of a other excuse and they refuse to be honest with themselves and admit to that. Um, they don't necessarily have to do it on a public level like I, I've just done, but the thing is like people will still lie to themselves to validate themselves and, and, and what I find with boosting your own self-esteem is that you learn to be more honest with yourself, to be more confident about those things, and to admit that you're wrong. Because sometimes, yeah, you are going to be wrong. There's not much that you can really do about that. So, but the big question is, is how are you going to be handling it? Are you going to use the that mistake as a, a scapegoat to continue to bash yourself or to never adjust your own way of handling distractions or are you going to actually admit that and start making some changes because the only way that I find you're able to make changes is to admit that there is something wrong with you or with what you're doing and to be making some changes and sometimes that requires you to have some self-esteem to have some confidence in yourself that you can fix these problems and that there are problems in the first place so those are my reasons for what you want to be doing when you get distracted. Now, there are a ton of other methods out there, but I think these methods will really help you out with handling your own distractions in life, as they have helped with me and at least tackling some of the minor distractions that I have in my life and getting back on track of what I want to be doing in my life. And my hope is that these tips will help you do the same. See you guys later. Next time.